there is some new information about Sons of the Forest. Let's just see what's going on. This video is by Jade PG. I actually like his videos. His videos are nice. Hey, right, bags. It's Jade. Welcome hey, to a Sons of the Forest news video today. Don't worry. Don't panic. Oh. The game is still coming out on 23rd of February. No, it's going to be pushed back a bunch of times. And any time you see a news video, you're probably wondering and hoping it's not going to be enough delay. But yeah. It will be here on 23rd. What okay. is changing, apparently, is how they're going to release it. It's not going to be a full game. It's going to be an early access title. Oh, so why? Today, a long post pretty much saying the game's become so complex, one of their most complex games they've ever worked on. They didn't want to delay it again. They've got so many things they still want to add. I mean, Oh no! It's been a long journey since we first started Sons of the Forest development and it's grown into the biggest, most complex game we have ever made. There is still much, there is still so much more we want to add. Items, new mechanics, gameplay balance and more. We don't want to delay again, so we have instead decided to involve the community in the continued development of this project and keep our February 23rd release date instead but instead release in early access. Well, the game, I'm gonna be honest, the game looks extremely complex. I'm actually surprised if everything that's been shown is actually in the game, I'm surprised that it's even that, like how it looks is just amazing, right? So I don't like the early access thing, but I trust this, I trust this company enough to let it be, to let it slide. It's fine with me. Everything that I've that I've seen so far looks good. My only concern about the forest is I want the what are they called? The effigies? I think they're called effigies. I want to be able to scare the cannibals away from my base. The mutants is mutants or whatever, but the cannibals, if I put something out there, uh, they should be able to just look at it, react to it, and then just walk away or try to pursue their attack on me. The effigies is literally the only thing, not the only thing, but one of the most important things to me that I'm looking forward to because they had them in Sons of the Forest. I mean, they had them in the forest and uh, they didn't do anything. They were just there. You could put heads on them as like decor kind of thing, but that was pretty much it. They didn't really do anything. Uh, I think they said that it did do something, but it, it, it did nothing, so whatever. It's good to know that there is going to be even more stuff added to whatever this game's going to be. Panics Let's continue. Some more that they decided to involve community in development of it. Oh, he's just reading what I just read. Shit. <laughs> February release date, but instead releasing early access. I go on to say the forest turned out to be massive success. Due mm -hmm. mostly to the awesome community in the Yes, uh, I believe I've watched a lot of people Barkit said it was good. IGN said it was... Well, it's IGN, but IGN said it was good. Um, who else did I watch that said it was good? Just a bunch of random videos, to be honest. Uh, I heard... The other... The other he, uh, Vlad didn't react to it. At, at the other middle show, he didn't react to it. That's fine. It is what it is. But uh, he also watched other videos, and he also said that... It looked to be pretty good. I also think this game is going to be good. And like I said, it looks, I am I expect it to be just mind blowing. If we get another um, No Man's Sky situation, I'm gonna be so sad. <laughs> I'm gonna be so sad if it's another No Man's Sky situation. You got your mic so low, maybe it's me. Uh, it could be good, it could be bad. I've played pretty much every survival game on Steam in early access in the last six or seven years. Yeah, that's why I'm so annoyed so with early access stuff. Just nine months, but the bulk of them do take around one to two years to come out as a 1.0 project. Mm -hmm. The original actual game of The Forest, that took four years when it launched in 2014 before releasing as a fully fledged game. In like, look at that. So look at that. Some good points to this. As they that said, guy has a glowing face. Good. When you dive into the post a bit oh. more on the Steam page now, they've got this new box up. They reckon they're only going to be in early access six to eight months. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, but it could change. But that's not bad. That's not bad. Could change. Mm -hmm. They pretty much say here, in addition to bug fixes, improvements, and balance and core gameplay, they plan to add more items. More. I didn't even know they had this on there. More to build and discover, as well as adding additional game. 3D prints. Ooh gameplay mechanics and lore nice. right now 
If you do, go ahead and buy the game when it releases on the 23rd. It's going to be playable in single player and multiplayer with up to eight players. Nice. It's going to be to explore, a story to uncover, a brand new building system, crafting system, a new arsenal of weapons, dynamic weather. And I look forward to the dynamic weather and seasons. That's what I look forward to. Please have, please have, please, please have a permadeath. Please. If I die, delete the save restart i will that was that's the only game mode i will play on the hardest difficulty i don't even care if the game just came out and i don't know anything about it i'm doing it <laughs> the second i see permadeath doing it <laughs> seasons terrifying enemies and lots more yeah i know enough about the first game i can kind of expect it so all in all it's i can kind of assume what to expect in the second one i do question what the heck is this make this decision a bit earlier I think when they first came out, it was a mask. And I think it was an interview with Farquhar. I'm sure they kind oh. of alluded that they probably would go down early access route. Oh, okay. They I didn't know about that. Days. And when they had their actual Steam page up, early access was. What is that? Thing. Whoa, I didn't see that. Look at this. Early access was nowhere to be I didn't seen. see that before. It's unusual to switch or make your Steam page. Oh, my goodness. Early access page only a couple that I saw. Before. It does feel like a bit of a bait and switch. I think yeah. a lot of people were expecting Sons of the Forest to be a completed game. Yeah. But don't get me wrong. I have got absolutely 100% belief that they do want to hear feedback and they can make the game better. Oh, I, I 100%. I, the only company I have ever trusted thus far is End Night. So End my End Night has my total respect. I trust whatever the heck they say, and uh, if they want to release it as an early access, fine. Because what I have seen looks extremely good uh, but i'm personally i'm tired of just having constant early access games in the survival genre like it's just annoying like just give me give me a completed game please but it is what it is in early access this one looks extremely good and i don't honestly for this specific game i don't really care that it's in early access i'm still gonna buy it the original forest is absolutely the best rated full survival game you can find. Mm -hmm. Only something like, I think Subnautica maybe beats it in terms of actual reviews. It's just simply one of the best going on. I don't care about games. Subnautica, fuck that game. And on PlayStation, it's hugely popular. So the negatives are that it is a bit of a blow to console fans. Although they've never really mentioned talking about console. Obviously, This is, original... is pre-alpha gameplay. Before I did get ported to the PlayStation 4. And it became actually one of the biggest the pre alpha i mean the environment looks good there we go oh, yeah. games like Conan Exiles, see but that looks like crap and Art Survival like if i was to if i was to it's a good thing it's pre alpha but if this was what they were releasing just this alone i'd be like Pff. like i'd already be kind of disappointed was that it did outsell daisy which also released in the same year on that platform so oh, yes, yeah. they've sold I think about four to five million copies, maybe six million across both platforms now. But yeah, it's huge Ooh. On oh now, oh oh, there we go. I'd play that. Suddenly start announcing they're going to work on a console version. Oh, that was the force. I didn't even know. Up. I did kind of hope that maybe it'd only be a few months before they announced some sort of port or something was going along the same way. Yeah. But now I'm not going to. I'm not even listening. Could end up turning into a year. It just means that console fans, if you've got any hope of ever playing this game. It may be another couple of years before you get the chance. Now, oh. again, it's going to be twenty nine dollars ninety nine at launch, so it's not going to change. So that so the console players can't play it. Well, that kind of sucks for the console players because it's such a short space of time, six to eight months. You don't necessarily have to increase the price. And mm -hmm. again, you might decide that even though the original was great, it's still not that amazing. Actually, helping a game developer find bugs and issues and problems and not get some sort of discount for it. How, why, how much was it? I missed it. Hold up. Now, the game is going to be $29.99 at launch. It's going to be 30 bucks to play this game? Holy crap. What? <laughs> 30 bucks to play the game? That is that is amazing. That is insane. I was expecting like 60 If it was 80 bucks, the game would have to be really fucking good. But like 30 bucks. Holy crap. So it's not going to change. I guess because it's such a short space of time, six to eight months, you don't necessarily have to increase the price. No. And again, you might decide that even though the original was great, it's still not. Oh, I'm buying it. It's, listen, the survival genre, I mean, yeah, the survival genre, it, 
It's not doing that well. What the fuck was that? It's not doing that well. It's it's kind of crap. You know, it's it, the only game that I play that's survival. Uh, two of them is Conan, uh, Grounded, and then I have the fours, which I go on and off of. But uh, so it's three. I I, I said two, but it was three. Uh, and I play Conan because it's just it's just good. You know. Other than that, the ones the other ones that I've played are either not finished or they get like stuff gets deleted and reworked all the time and it's like just 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 make the game, bro. Just make the game. You know, if it's if if you release it in early access and people like what you have as like a base thing, then just develop, you know, develop on that. Don't put in multiplayer. Okay, fuck multiplayer. You can put it in later. Just focus on the actual core game, you know? I'm talking about Miss Survival, by the way, if anyone's curious. Like, just focus on the actual game and just stop overhauling everything. Just focus on the main part, you know? Amazing. Actually helping the game developer find bugs and issues and problems. And I want that game to be completed already. For it. But this is becoming more and more popular. Another game I like. Nightingale has also opted to do this, I do believe, in the future. And there's a few <sighs> other games also now not changing their prices and just coming out with just a baseline price. I nice. do, I'm a know about this. Like I said, I've played every survival game that's released in early access in the last six years. Mm -hmm. Some of them have taken absolutely forever to get going. Oh, I know. And that's okay when they've got consistent updates. Yeah. Or we know what's happening, why maybe development's slow. Yeah. And then you come across a whole plethora of early access games that have been in there for four or five years, get abandoned. And while I don't think something... Like, probably... like Seven Days to Die, that game has been in early... Uh, has it been in early access? I think it's been early. I'll give a check before I start smack talking that game. Early access. Yeah, it's been an early access since the release, and it's been nine years. Like, holy crap. Like, or is it going to be like that at all? I can't see how one of the, a sequel to one of the most popular survival games going could fall that bad. It looks absolutely amazing from the gameplay we've seen on IGN and all the interviews and questions I've had with Farquet. Oh, yeah, it looks so good. It just does look amazing. It does. From what the IGN For 30, like I said, it looks that good and does all that from what i've seen so far and it's only 30 bucks that's told well it might be like it might be like 60 bucks for me because canadian prices no this is a canadian company i don't know i'll let you know later <laughs> but it looks pretty freaking good there's still were question marks about how some of the systems they've got going on in terms of the mutants versus the creepies and stuff like that how they interact with each other and how that would go maybe longer into the game yeah there's going to be people testing that all the time hours with it and stuff mm -hmm. It does feel like the game is finished. It's just a case of, I guess, there's some crucial bit they just really haven't managed to maybe nail down or get right. Yeah. Or, if I was a real cynic, is this just shielding them from some sort of criticism? And I can't see why they would think that. I hope not. Like I hope not. This is not one of the best rated games going. Sons of the Forest is going to be the most hyped survival game this year. Mark oh, hell yeah. There's going to be millions buying it and playing mm -hmm. it on release week. So maybe this is just them being super honest and just saying, look, we messed up. We are mm -hmm. a bit off more than we can chew. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this is it. It's either delay or you guys help us out for a few months. Again, mm -hmm. yeah. I have, if the, like I said, this game looks so good that I would rather just play the game and say, hey, there's an issue here and whatever. As long as it's not like a game breaking glitch or bug, I don't really care, you know. But uh, I just want to play it. <laughs> you know what you think? Is it a good thing? Is it mm -hmm. a bad thing? Let's mm -hmm. hope they take more feedback on board, and also I want to see them interact with the community a bit more. Apart from the Steam posts and a few Reddit posts, I'd mm -hmm. like to be a bit. Look, look at that! Look at that! I don't. Even, I already don't want to go in a cave. Cool and active sharing creations ah. from players on social media and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You hear from Farket and stuff that they're pretty private sort of company. I'm hoping we can make bullets for those guns uh, too. And then they're doing face-to-face -face interviews with IGN staff and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I don't necessarily think that's completely true. I do think they need to invest in more community outreach and just do a little bit more hyping up the game and, and showing us stuff that could be coming in this six to eight months. Yeah. It's such a talking point to be honest. I could be here all day questioning about it. Like, does mm. it matter if a game is early access anymore? What the hell is, is that? Access? Oh, I already saw that before. So many AAA releases releasing with just bugs or just really crap gameplay yeah of course i'll be covering it in a bit. yeah there's like there's so many triple a games that come out and they're like hey 80 bucks for this and then like the game's fucking broken <laughs> the game the game is finished but it's fucking broken <laughs> you know why guides gameplay and more so make sure you subscribe now and mm -hmm. start looking out for more videos hyping up sons of the forest until mm -hmm. next time at bags later man that's gonna be so good but yeah like 
like I said, the out the uh, not the alpha, the survival genre in general is just not it's just not having a good time. And I'm hoping that Sons of the Forest will be like, hey, this is like not the base, but this is what everybody should kind of expect out of survival games, like right here, you know? Yeah, like I said, the game looks good. If it's fine if it's gonna take six to eight months, you know, half a year or a little bit more than a half a year. I would rather have that than another delay because the game looks so good that I just I just want to play the game. And it's only thirty bucks, which is also good. Holy crap. And uh Yeah, other than that, I don't think there's any, anything else to talk about, so if there's any more news, I'll let you know. I don't like how it's going to be released in early access, but I trust this game, uh, this uh, this company enough to say, you know, that's okay. It is what it is. But yeah. There it is. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next video. If anything pops up with the forest, I'll let you know. Uh, I'm just browsing YouTube looking at forest stuff because I'm just super hyped. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.